What's up guys, Amanda Ray here. If you don't know who I am, welcome back to the channel if you do. Today we are gonna to be working on the Evo 8, some of the things that I mentioned in the video before. We are going to be putting on the new motor mount that we got, and we are going to put in a power steering delete kit that we got here. Now, this kit we bought, we have a bunch of things in there that we're not even gonna use, like the hose, um, majority of this stuff in here, we're not gonna use, we really just needed it for the pulley, the adapter, and the bolt, um, and the belt, obviously, because it's shorter, because we have to delete it, obviously. Um, we don't need any of the hose and whatnot because um, we have a manual steering rack, so it works out. This is our motor mount that we're gonna be using. This is the Torque Solutions motor mount. Should allow the mechanical fuel pump to clear no problem. So we're gonna go ahead and get that on first, and then we're probably gonna do the power steering delete kit and then we are gonna make our way to the mechanical fuel pump. The problem with that is, if you guys know, it mounts right here. Literally mounts right here off of this. Um, the problem with this is that we have to cut this just a little bit on the side right here, if you can see. Um, I'll show you once we get it off, everything off and ready to go. But anyway, we're gonna start with the motor mount first. So let's get that started. Torque Solutions. Dang, I didn't realize how light this is compared to the other one. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Nice. Um, this is like really tiny. Putting the nut on, the new motor mount. I kid you not, that thing is so light compared to the OEM. in guys hey guys so we've got the motor mount completely tightened good to go next step is going to be taking out this bolt here um, and that is going to be replaced with the bolt that came in the power steering delete kit um, that's in here it's this big bolt right here so we're gonna go ahead and take that out and uh, I'll be with you in just a moment all right guys so this is what we're using um, out of the power steering delete kit um, so we got a pulley, we got the belt, and we have an adapter. Um, again, we took out that one bolt that I showed you before down here, and this literally just slides right in. Um, the only way to get around not having to use this and this is to get an electric water pump. Um, and that is not fun for the bank. So we're gonna stick with this and go from there. Now that that's in, we can put the belt on. Yay! And this belt's a lot shorter. Not a lot shorter, but it's shorter. This is it. Very stiff. This is gonna suck. Alright. Alrighty guys, so we got the motor mount done. We've got the belt back on, as you can see, and it was not friendly at all. Super tight. It's a small belt. Very difficult to get on. Um, but we managed, um, so now we are going to be taking off the bracket to make it easier that we'll essentially get this and this out of the way. So we're only dealing with the bracket when we mount it. Um, and now we are going to be doing that next. All right, guys. So this is giving us some issues because I don't know if you know, but in order to get this on, you have to slide it in between right here, it's, I don't know if you can see it, in right here basically, but it's getting stopped on the bottom part of the motor mount. It's getting stopped on this part right here, which means everything that we basically just did, putting this belt on, putting the motor mount in, everything, we have to undo just to get this bracket on. So we're pulling all of this, unfortunately. Um, so we have to go, he has aftermarket cam gears. 
which we weren't gonna do, but now that we have to pull everything and redo the timing, we're gonna go aftermarket cam gears. So why not, let's do it. The Evo fun continues. All right guys, so quick update. Um, <laughs> so quick update guys, um, in order to get the bracket on, which is what we have here, we had to pull the cam gears off, which we have the aftermarket ones on, but funny news on that is that we didn't even have to put those on because the dial pin is too big, which is this one right here. It's too big. Um, I mean, we think it's too big. Right now we have zip ties holding the belt onto the gears so we don't lose timing. But it's definitely taking a lot longer. We're very frustrated, but we are figuring it out and I'll update you guys when we get more. All right, guys, so we finally got the cam gears back on. Tiny belt's good. Motor mount's good. The stupid bracket's on. Um, let me just tell you, do it the easy way. Take everything off, redo the timing. Don't try and do it our way, which is, you know, the whole zip tie to hold it. And it's impossible. Getting all seven bolts on this is almost impossible. I say almost because it happened, but it's a pain in the butt. So do it the easy way. Take everything off, redo the timing, and you'll be good to go. So now, hopefully the easy part is putting the actual rest on and seeing if this motor mount is small enough. We really wanted to find another motor mount like this one down here. You can barely see it, but it's super flat and small. It's the same one, Torx Solutions, just a different type, I guess. So now comes the hard part. Forgot to mention, guys, we did have to go back and add this little coupler. It's called a Lovejoy coupler. You gotta add that first, and then comes the next steps. All right, guys, so bad update. Mechanical fuel pump. Looks like it's gonna go well. Problem is, it's hard to see, but it hits this. It doesn't clear it, so we're gonna have to cut this. Um, we don't have a, a choice, really. Yeah, we gonna definitely cut it. So we marked some red marks. That's where we're gonna have to cut it. Go ahead and pull it off. So this is a guesstimate of where we're gonna cut it, right around here. Safe marks are that one and that one. You could probably cut it right here. Try and save that, because that's where the power steering mounts. But um, honestly, you have to cut it here and there for it to clear. I'm not sure how far over we're gonna have to go. Hopefully we don't have to go any further. But I think just this little L I'm gonna have to come off just to mount it. Um, I get this is just to do the mechanical fuel pump and obviously the power steering delete. Also, as he was saying, this right here, also in the way, it's hitting the bottom. Um, I'm not sure, we might be able to get around that when we do this. I think we'll be able to clear that. If not, we might have to grind that down just a little bit. We don't know for sure, but we are gonna pick this back up tomorrow. So I will update you guys then. I will see you soon. All right guys, so we're back on day two, working on the Evo, trying to get this mechanical fuel pump to fit when, you know, we just got done with the workout, so we're super hot and sweaty. So why not get in more sweaty and start grinding on the stud? So check this out guys. We literally have to grind this stud down just to get it to fit. So we're in the process of doing that now. Um, we might not have to cut this, like I mentioned before. This might be the only thing we have to cut. Um, so we're just grinding it to where we need to and uh, we'll get there. We do have the engine covered over here with a little towel. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna update you when we're done grinding and it fits. Right now it's not clearing with the spacer on there, so we'll see. Alrighty guys, so we got the stud at the perfect length. Um, it did start taking off a little bit of the threads. Um, 
I think it's still pretty, no, it's not hot to the touch yet uh, anymore. So this is the height that it needs to be at. It still threads the nut perfectly fine, if I can find it. So that's still good. There is plenty of thread left. So good to go. So now it fits with the spacer, guys, no issues. Yay, it's about time. Now there is still an issue of whether or not this part is gonna fit, but we do know that it is movable on the bracket, so it might fit, we're not sure. Um, once we tighten all these down, I'll come back to you guys. All right guys, so unfortunately, it still does not want to go in because of this. So we are gonna have to cut this. We cut the, the motor mount stud down here, so this gets on fine, but now we can't get the rest of the fuel pump on because of this. So we're gonna draw a nice line for him to follow and he's gonna cut. Wish us luck. All right guys, so check it out. We cut this. Um, no more power steering here, sad face. But um, this is a, the exact amount that you would need to cut just to make it work. Um, it does clear. I will show you how it goes in now. So we did cut extra space on this back side right here, guys. But this front side, we cut just the exact amount that we needed. If you can see it. We cut just the exact amount that we needed. It's looking good. On to the next step. Okay. <clears throat> Alright guys, so check this out. Alright guys, so this is the cover on the mechanical fuel pump bracket gets in the way. So we do have to cut this. Um, a lot of people are just kind of cutting it straight up like this and just kind of hacking it. We're going to try and make it look semi-nice. Um, so we're just going to cut little bit by little and see how it goes. Um, super sketchy having to cut this, but you got to do what you got to do to get more fuel. So that's going to be in the next video, so stay tuned for that, guys. But in the meantime, the fuel pump is completely done. Ugh. But in the meantime, guys, the fuel pump is completely done. It is on. It is tightened. It is good to go. If you guys have any questions on how we did it, the steps we took, just message me. Um, the next video, we are going to be cutting this, like I said before. And we're also hopefully going to be able to go to Axiom and get the surge tank um, all done. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and comment below. Let me know what you think of the Evo content.